Welcome back and thank you for staying with us on our special coverage, COVID at One. My name is Dr. Masi Korir. Straight away, we join our reporter, Cecilia Okesho, who tells us about Kenyans' resilience in spite of the pandemic. Thank you, Dr. Masi. And indeed, although COVID-19 brought with it losses and economic disruptions, there are those who not only thrived, but also cashed in based on their quick ability to adapt to the new normal. In Nairobi's Marikiti market, business activities seem to have normalized in spite of COVID-19 pandemic. One of the businessmen who have earned popularity in this market is John Odek, who is also an artist. Although he has been making a living through music, he decided to have a side hustle. In 2019, he started selling groceries in Marikiti market. He felt he had a lot of time when not performing. He was, however, forced to become more innovative in the business when coronavirus was first announced in the country. Nikaenda nikafungua kitu kama kibanda kileleshwa kando ya kanisa kileleshwa kama unajua hapo Holy Trinity hapo kando nikaanza kuza Sunday Sunday fulani nikakuja nikaweka vitu zangu nikasasa nikaweka nyanya nini na nini lakini sasa before sa corona nilikuwa nishaanza kufikiria nahitaji kutengeneza kibanda but kabla tu nisimamishe hivi corona his income began to dwindle but Odek had no choice but to look for an alternative source of income to fend for his family. Katikati, sasa nikakumbuka, ile hasoli yangu, ile gashari yangu ya mboga, sasa nifungu vizuri. Nikarudi tena kwa mtandao. Nikakumbusha majamaa, bado ile hasoli naifa, naifanya ya kudeliver mboga kwa, kwa manyumba. Na kwanza sasa, sasa hivi, kwa wana ili lockdown, president akafunga inchi, watu watoki, kaa nyumbani, his Facebook and Twitter pages were the main way of meeting with his customers, who are not only from the country but also abroad. With time, his clients began to earn his trust and believed in him. They only knew him as Babamboga. I have to pay for you. I have to pay for money and pay for you. In this case, I have profit yangu kwa sababu ni kazi ile nafanya na na kuendea sokoni in don home estate odek has just delivered some of the goods he had been sent thoroughly he confirms that he has everything according to the shopping list for the first time he will be meeting face to face with a customer who lives in uk but has been ordering groceries delivered to their sickly father just a few days ago this client flew into the country unfortunately the father passed on a week ago anatutumia bei tunamtumia pesa akaletea babangu hapa kwa hivyo ilimsaidia kwa hiyo wakati ya covid ati baba yangu akukosa chakula ugumu wa kushop ni kwa sababu sasa vitunguu utapata hapa bei nzuri na karati hapa bei nzuri sasa kutembea utatembea kote utachoka tena kuna ile hofu ya utapata virusi lakini kwa bwana John ni one stop shop kuna siku naweza kuambia bila kuficha Eh, kuna siku niliko nitengeneza 7000 in profits a business that eventually saw an influx of business people but Odeko was already armed with a plan b he had made enough at least to allow him open a fish joint his new business which he also does it on social media is along Kiambu road hata watu huko Kiambu wanapenda samaki sana unajua tulikuwa tunafuata samaki mpaka kekomba lakini tulifurahia sana vanyo walituletea hapa maana samaki ni mzuri ni white meat For now Odek is back to his job as a performing artist at the fish joint he has employed a few individuals to assist him he maintains although the grocery business has gone down after some of the covid-19 rules were lifted he will still continue to deliver to his loyal customers and as they say necessity is the mother of invention and those who adapted stayed afloat